Toastmaster Swagat and elogy to my father and elogy to my father Toastmaster Swagat. First of March, I along with my brother and his son immersed the last remains and ashes of my father into the holy Prayagraj Trivedi Sangam which is also the confluence of the sacred rivers Ganga, Yamuna and the mythical Saraswati. As an elder son, I feel great satisfaction that I was able to fulfill this significant responsibility of my life. On 11th of October last year, my father passed away while he was undergoing treatment here in Hyderabad. And I, along with my family, went back to our home place native place in Odisha. Now when I am back, I would like to share my experience over the last six months <coughs> dedicated eulogy to my father, Sri Varendra Kumar. My father worked as an administrative officer in the Odisha State Garden and he led a simple and disciplined life. Always very neat and clean. A loving father to five children more to my three sisters than to me or my younger brother. He was a workaholic too, and that may be because of sometimes the nature of the job. During our childhood, I would remember, we had to relocate multiple times due to the frequent transfers of my father. That is because he was very principled. He didn't choose the easy comfort or luxury, which was always a number. And when I look back, I feel great pride because he never chose the easiest path. And his sacrifices shaped our future. Through his, through his modest earning, still he was able to fulfill all the desires, all the high studies ambitions of all his five children. And in fact, for my foreign studies, he had to mortgage his own house. We were lucky to have a secure childhood, but my father didn't. He was brought up in a very modest family, where due to the daily struggle for the survival, his elders decided to discontinue his study and put him to a four cart troop. My father was around 10 years old at that time, but he didn't accept his destiny. One fine morning, he stepped out of his home. And throughout his childhood, he kept moving from one place to another, kept struggling for his livelihood, but he continued his ambition, his studies, and finally he was able to achieve the career of his choice. For the last eight years, my parents have been with me. My father, because of his ailing health, and severe arthritis was almost immobile for the last few years. And I used to work majorly from home and stay indoors to take better care of him. In the year 2022, he was admitted to hospital due to complaints of breathing, but he recovered. He was in ICU for a few days, but he came back home successfully. So when the same episodes happened in 2023, I assumed he will again be back, but that was not to be. My father was a warrior. He fought every battle in his life with full conviction. And I wish I take the inspiration from his life story throughout my life. I am also thankful to Toastmaster Dr. Prashad, whom I would call any time of the day during his treatment. And post my father's demise, I would call him any time. And he would still pass on the valuable feedback and suggestions and guidance which is not usual in a normal postmaster mentor role. So with that, I would also like to thank my fellow postmasters for extending the solace and compassion when I needed the most. Thank you.